Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kristen, and I'm the education director here at Sea Turtle Inc. Sea Turtle Inc. is a nonprofit sea turtle hospital on South Padre Island, Texas. Here at our facility, we do have a three tier mission to rescue and rehabilitate sick and injured sea turtles for release back out into the wild, to educate the public, as well as work towards conservation efforts for all marine turtle species. So it's been a while since we've done a live. I'm really excited to connect with you guys today. I see a lot of you hopping on right now. So go ahead and type into the comments where you guys are tuning in from. We always love seeing where where everybody is watching our videos from and where you guys are learning about sea turtles from. So today we have some special guests that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys here shortly. So we're gonna talk about a threat that we don't talk about very uh -huh. often here at Sea Turtle Inc. because most of the time in South Texas, honestly, it doesn't get that cold. But something that we always, um, prepare for in the winter time is an event called a cold stunning. So sea turtles are reptiles, they are cold blooded animals and their body temperature depends on the environment. So whenever we have cold fronts move through Texas, if they come in quickly and they stick around for a really long time, the Laguna Madre, our bay that runs up the Texas coast, since it's a very shallow body of water, that water temperature will fall very suddenly. So we always get ready in case we do have cold stunned turtles that wash on the beach. So what happens is those turtles will become hypothermic from the cold water temperatures. So they float up at the surface and they wash up in different locations. And we go out and patrol to pick those turtles up and bring them back here to our facility. Now, this winter, it's been a pretty mild winter. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna spin the camera. It's a beautiful day here on South Padre Island. So all of you that are watching from the north, I'm sure you're pretty jealous of our weather right now. Um, but we have not had any cold stun turtles wash up on South Padre Island yet this year. Um, but there are cold stun events happening in other places. And before I tell you about that, I see a lot of you commenting here. So let's see where everybody is tuning in from. So we give people more time to connect with us. So we have people from New Jersey, some Texans, Dallas, Corpus Christi, Westlaco. We have people from Indiana, somebody from Maryland, but originally from the Valley over in Brownsville. Let's see, San Benito, Tucson, Arizona. A couple people from Brownsville, Austin. Another person from Dallas, Wisconsin. Really excited that you guys are hanging out with us today because I have something exciting that I am going to share with you. So over on the east coast there has been a cold stun event that has taken place because of the cold weather that is coming in um, from the north so what has happened is over in cape cod massachusetts they had a massive cold stun event take place now the species that we get cold stunned here in texas is the green sea turtle and that's because this area is their foraging ground so that is the main species that we get stranding in the winter months on our island but up in Massachusetts, their main species that they see during this time is actually the Kemp's Ridley. And this species is very near and dear to our hearts here in Texas because that is our state sea turtle. It is the main species that we get nesting on our beaches on South Padre Island. Now, we don't get Kemp's Ridleys very often in our hospital, but right now we actually have 20. Now, how did we get those turtles? Because remember I said they didn't wash up here on the beach because we haven't had cold temperatures. So over in Massachusetts, they had a mass cold stun event that happened and they had so many turtles wash up on the beach that they did not have enough facilities to take care of those animals in their state. So they have partnered with other organizations throughout the US to help rehabilitate these animals so they can be released back out into the wild. So we have partnered with the aquarium in Boston and also with Turtles Fly 2. Now Turtles Fly 2 is an organization of volunteer pilots that actually fly turtles to different areas for rehabilitation. So there were 150 juvenile Kemp's Ridley sea turtles flown to Texas this past Monday and we have received 20 of those 150 and I'm going to share these little guys with you today. They are super cute. If you guys do have questions about these juvenile Kemp's Ridleys, go ahead and type them into the chat box and I will answer them for you. So I'm gonna walk over to the tank. We do have them split between two tanks right now, but this little guy is hanging out right on the surface. 
So Rachel has commented, Lucas says hi. So hi, Lucas. I'm excited you guys are watching our live today. And I'm excited that all of you are here to learn about these amazing little turtles that washed up. I see a lot of you saying in the comments that where you are, it's freezing. And these little turtles thought it was freezing too. So they got flown here on Monday. Like I said, we do have 20 of them that are going to stay with us for the rehabilitation process. Now, we do not have a definitive timeline as to how long these turtles will remain in our hospital. Um, it could be a few months, if not longer. So if you guys are interested in coming to Sea Turtle Inc., now is the time to come in and see these little guys if you do want to get a view of what a juvenile Kim Ridley looks like. These turtles are doing really well. You can see they're very active. Sorry, my camera might have frozen there for a second. But I'm gonna pan out to the rest of the tank so you guys can see all these little turtles swimming around. Now, this species is the most endangered species of sea turtle in the world. Now, all the patients that you guys are looking at in these tanks, they're all small turtles. They're between one and two years old. Um, the largest that we have is seven pounds. They're all about three to four pounds each, so pretty small. You guys will notice they have yellow numbers on the back of their shell. That is for identification purposes because there are so many of them. But like I said earlier, this is our state sea turtle here in Texas, and we do not get this size of Kemp's Ridley's in our hospital very often. So it is rare for us. We're very excited to help out organizations up north to rehabilitate these animals and get them out into the wild in the future. Now, if you guys do have questions about our hospital or sea turtles in general, feel free to type them into the comments. I see Joshua is asking, will y'all release them on SPI or send them back to Boston for release and how long will their rehab be? That is a good question. So these turtles will be released here um, in Texas in the Gulf of Mexico. So good question there. Their primary source of food is blue crabs. Even though the Kemp's Ridley sea turtles foraging grounds for young species like this is up north off the coast of Massachusetts, um, there are an abundance of blue crabs here in Texas as well. And that is why they return to Texas whenever they are adults to come up and lay their eggs. And how long they will be in our hospital, that is still yet to be seen. These turtles just got here on Monday. Um, so they are undergoing medical treatments right now. They're getting fluids and antibiotics. Sometimes it does take a while for pneumonia to show up on an x-ray for these patients. So we are waiting with our rehab staff is working really hard to care for all of these animals and make sure that they are getting healthy so they can be released in the future. I see some more, oh, some questions coming in. Why do these turtles need to be rehabilitated? So for those of you that hopped on a little bit late, all of these little Kemp's Ridley sea turtles that you are looking at, they washed up on the beaches of Cape Cod, Massachusetts from the cold weather. So sea turtles are reptiles. They their body temperature depends on the temperature of their environment. So when the water temperature gets really cold, they will become lethargic and hypothermic. So they float up at the surface and wash up on the beach in different locations. This is an event that happens here in Texas, but these specific uh, patients in our hospital were actually flown here from Boston. Oh, good question coming in from Bianca. How long does it take for them to fall out of a hypothermic state once they are found? So what we do with patients that come in that are cold stunned is we actually keep them in a controlled environment and slowly increase their body temperature. So these turtles had started undergoing treatment up on the Upper East Coast um, before they arrived to our facility at Sea Turtle Inc. So by the time Sorry, there was a motorcycle there. By the time they arrived at our facility, they were fairly active already. Um, but what would normally happen is they would stay in an enclosed area with very shallow water because we want to make sure that these turtles don't drown by just throwing them into the large tank that you see them swimming around in right now. Um, so they do start in shallow water. It will usually take them a few days to warm up and become active. And then they will undergo a swim test where they are added to a large tank like you see here. So we can make sure that these turtles are able to swim and eat on their own. A uh, question coming in from Christine is, is there a difference in the orange and yellow tags they have? That is a good question. There is no difference. That tag um, just has the number that corresponds with the turtle shell. Good questions, guys. Let's see. 
Uh, JD is asking, will you announce the release date on SPI? So with everything going on with COVID-19, we have actually not done any public releases here on the island for patients or for hatchlings this year. So I am not for sure what is going to be happening in the spring with COVID. So there is a chance that if when we do release these turtles, it will most likely be done on live as well. But that is still up in the air since it is a little ways away. Let's see. I'm not seeing any questions come in. So if you guys do think of more questions, type them into the comment box and we can answer them for you. If you guys are looking to support Sea Turtle Inc. and support these adorable Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtles that are here rehabilitating, there are a few different options for you guys. So we do have a symbolic adoption program at our facility and that um, adoption is $40 and you will get a little packet sent to you and that money does go towards the care of our rehabilitating patients. If you guys are are getting especially attached to these little turtles like I am then one thing that you guys can do we have a special program that we created for these turtles since they will be in our care for quite some time there is an um, a name a Cape Cod Kemp's program that is going on right now. Sorry, that was a mouthful. So that is $500 and that will help fund an entire month's worth of care for these animals. Now remember, these turtles will be here for a few months time. Um, so that $500 will really help tremendously in caring for these animals. Uh, we're going to drop the link in the comment section. So feel free to go and check that page out. Uh, we are gonna be, we have been meeting actually with a few different news channels so you guys might see this story pop up on the news it is a very exciting time for us here at sea turtle link we're excited that we were able to partner with these other organizations and help rehabilitate these amazing sea turtles and our state sea turtle here in texas so if you guys want to learn more about these turtle stories or any of those links that I mentioned, you guys can visit our website at seaturtleinc.org forward slash Ridley Rescue. I see a bunch of you, a couple of you have donated already. Thank you so much. I can't even express our gratitude for all the donations that we received from you guys. You guys have been awesome over the course of this pandemic and supporting our organization, sharing our videos, liking them, commenting on them, and just tuning in so you guys can learn more about sea turtles and what we do here at Sea Turtle Inc. Yeah, if you guys do have people that you know might be interested that are not in the, on this live today, make sure you share this video for us. We want to get the word out as best we can. And of course, we want to educate everybody about sea turtles out in the wild too. So these adoptions that I mentioned, they would make an awesome Christmas present. So if you guys are still looking for those last minute gifts, feel free to consider one of our symbolic sea turtle adoptions. I see, let's see, Adriana commented, I recently adopted a turtle in May and donated to get a brick in our facility. Thank you so much, Adriana, and everyone else that has donated to us too. I'm gonna walk to a different angle so you guys can get a better view of these turtles. I know I'm stuck off in a corner. Our facility is open to the public, so if you guys are local or you're visiting here on vacation, feel free to drop in. Keep in mind that you do have to wear a mask while you guys are here on site. We wanna make sure that everybody stays as healthy as possible. Look at these little guys. Super cute. Here's one speeding up to the top. Now this is just one of the tanks that we have these turtles in. Um, we do have them split. So you guys will notice that there's a big tarp here across the back. So these tanks are heated in the winter time. So you guys in South Texas know that we've had some cold weather. Not as cold as what these Kemp's Ridley's experienced up north, but pretty cold for us here in South Texas. So those tarps do get pulled at nighttime to make sure that the tank stays at an appropriate temperature for all of our patients. A uh, question coming in from Leslie. What do they like to eat? So for the Kemp's Ridley sea turtles, their main source of food is blue crabs. Now these turtles that you guys are looking at, um, their foraging grounds are up off the coast of Massachusetts, which is why they had such a mass stranding of this particular species. But each sea turtle, depending on what species you're looking at, will focus on a different type of food. So Christine is asking, it's hard to tell from the camera, but how big are they? So these turtles are really small. Here, this one just swam into this side enclosure. 
So I'm gonna put my hand right here above the surface of the water so you guys can see. These turtles are about two to three pounds. The biggest Kemp's Ridley that we got flown to us was seven pounds. So they're still very small, full grown. These turtles will get to be around 100 pounds. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your donations and anybody that is hopping on to adopt one of these awesome animals. Don't forget about that name, a Cape Cod Kemp's program that we have going on right now that will tremendously help care for these turtles while they are here at our facility. And again, like I said, if you guys do come in and visit, I had to put my mask back on, but if you guys do come in to visit Sea Turtle Inc., you guys will be able to see all of our turtles, but these awesome 20 turtles that got flown to us too. Um, we will include the links <clears throat> in the description of this video. If you guys have more questions while I log off, feel free to comment them into the comment section and we will go back and answer all those questions. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day and that you guys keep tuning in for updates on all of the turtles that we have here at our facility. Thank you guys so much. Go check out our website and we hope we're signing off. Bye guys. And I'll spin the camera so you can see the little turtles one more time.